Let's examine this time, please. Ah, <laughs> and Gustavia's in the recreation. Nice. The victim, Dane Gustavia, was the only one to enter the Autumn Palace. If you use the gas burner then, the normalium in the, the glass case would have melted. Uh huh, uh huh, and then? The question is where does the um, fatalium come from? Maybe it was in the gas can? No, maybe. I don't know. I suppose it's possible. The melted normalium would have come into contact with the fatalium inside the case. And there was fatalium inside the case? Since when? Are we jumping steps here? Do we have proof there was fatalium inside the case? Has it been examined? I know the normalium was there, but... I suppose they have proved it if they're saying it. And produced the poison gas. The moment Mr. Gustavia opened the lid, he would have begun to inhale the gas. He managed to drag himself out to the fountain patio just before his strength ran out. So he inhaled the gas when he opened the lid. Duh. God, get on our level. Seems he finally understands, I think. But who knows with him? He's pretty stupid. That is the question. Why did Mr. Gustavi open the glass case of the Pisces sculpture in the first place? The victim's goal, that I do not know yet. Perhaps he had the same uh, reason as Uncle Ray. Oh? Maybe he actually came to see the Winter Palace, not the Autumn one. Oh? Uncle Ray also thought that this was the Winter Palace first. Oi, you too, Ray Ray? Actually, I thought so too. It looks just like Icy's uh, room from 18 years ago. And this was where his room was placed. Even got the exact same paints in front of door. Plants in front of door, sorry. Why do I keep mis mis misplacing letters? Like, I, I, I put the L in patio, and then I took the L out of, pa of pants. <laughs> pants? Plants. Plants without no, or pants, I guess. Seems everyone involved the IS-7 incident made the same mistake. Because that's where Dover's room was, probably. Very easy to make the mistake. It is imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately. I should suggest that to Mr. DeBesti, so that he doesn't, uh, meander forever. I get it now! Yes, that's how it was! Hmm, did you think of something? The victim committed suicide! Oh, shut up, you dummy. He thought he would look refined if he died in an art gallery! No. Just no. He didn't even succeed, dumbass. He would have stayed in the room if he really wanted to die. Have you ever been listening? Well, if you're as smart as me, just hearing half of the story will be enough. Uh, no. Sebastian, I'll explain it from the top later. Top? That means best, right? Alright, I'll leave it to you. Oh, wow. Yes, it would indeed be best to let Judge Courtney handle him. I don't even know, I don't even know about that. She is not smart either. That aside, don't you have some information to inform everyone of? Ah, I totally forgot! Of course you did. What are you talking about? Aha! <laughs> we did a little checking on the pharmacist. We meaning me, the best prosecutor's subordinate. We meaning me, the best prosecutor's subordinate. Wait, what? We meaning me. The best prosecutor's subordinate. Wait, so you're the subordinate of the best prosecutor? That's how you said it. That's not something to brag about. Shut up, you! Quiet down and listen! Suicide is um, off the table for now, yeah. That's because I'm um, in short. 
That pharmacist is the culprit. She set up the gas as a trap. Eep? No! It's a terrible shame. Miss Pharmacist. There's no way it's as simple as, as it's just Kate. That would be way too simple, I think. Because she's like the only freaking suspect. So it's got to be more than that, I think. How could one in the profession of saving lives stoop to extu extu extinguishing them? Stoop to extinguishing them. Hmm? What are you saying? I I would never do such thing. Mr. Dobesti, do you have a basis for these accusations? Hmm, of course. This is my basis. The pharmacist license. It would permit her to handle Megatoxin X, correct? And its active ingredient, Fatalium, was one of the components of the poison gas. I see where you're going with this, at least. So there's at least some logic. Exactly! That chemical is almost impossible for ordinary people to obtain. But the pharmacist is another story altogether! It wasn't me! You got it all wrong! And that's not all! A bottle of Megatoxin X was found in the victim's pocket! And on the bottle, we found clear fingerprints! Yours! Eep! Eep! Oh, really? Wait, you found that in the victim's pocket, you said? You and the creator took the victim to the infirmary, correct! That would have given you the perfect opportunity to plant the bottle on him! The question is why you would do that. Oh, would it make it look like suicide? Maybe? That is... You are the only pharmacist on the premises who could have handled Megatoxin X. And why is that? Furthermore, as for the creator of this art gallery, you're an acquaintance of hers. You would have had access to the gallery at any time in order to prepare the poison gas trap. Please wait, that Megatoxin X, it was stolen! Oh, really? Too bad you didn't say that earlier, because now it sounds like an excuse. Trying to lie your way out of this won't go well with me. It true! Look, I got the proof right here in my bag. Oh, really? What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. <laughs> hmm? Never seen cloth like that recently. Oh, that makes her actually look more suspicious. Ah, here. Please take a look at this. Hmm? Some sort of paper. What's it say? April 1st, theft report accepted. Stolen item, Megatoxin X. This is a theft report accept acceptance certificate. A theft report acceptance certificate. Wow. Reminds me of um, the uh, missing item thing from Case 5 of the first game. Reminding me of anything from Case 5 of the first game should be illegal! Don't ever do that, game! Eh. But, um... This is definitely not quite the same, because you're not in the... Uh, uh, law professions. What? Yes, he. Truth is, one week ago, my Megaton X was stolen. My Megaton... My Megaton X. Yes. Like the Megaton Hammer, but this time a Megaton X. One week ago, that means you didn't have it with you today. Yes, he. That bottle you just found is probably the one that was stolen from me. I normally carry the bottle of Megaton X in my bag at all times. But... Even though I often forget to keep it locked up. I would never even think about mixing it with Normalium. But why in the world would you carry such a dangerous substance on your person? Well, you never know when those things will appear. Those... those... Rats? Those creatures that infest the kitchen, striking fear into the heart of a lady, right? I guess you mean rats, or mouses, or whatever. Although if you had a rolled up newspaper, you could just squash them with one blow. Wait, what? Are we not talking about rats? Then I guess it's flies. Okay. You should have said so earlier! Justine, what do we do now? Well then, can we really accept this theft report? Let's ask for confirmation. That should clearly tell us whether or not she's lying. Correct! Well then, I'll just, uh, call and confirm it. Looks like Miss Delicious isn't the culprit. Indeed, if she really did set up the poison gas as a trap, I don't believe she would do it in the way that incriminates her the most. Correct. 
So, Miles, who do you think is the culprit? Uh, Catherine, because process of elimination is just the only character we know of that would make sense. Predicting the actions of the victim would require a fair amount of advanced planning. And there's only one person you're capable of that. Huh? Oh, Gray would like to know too. Who do you suspect? The only one who's suspectable. I mean, this isn't even a question. Let me install the Megatoxin X. Prepared the room in advance was like, this isn't even a question. There's only one plausible suspect. It's not gonna be you. It's not gonna be the victim. It's not gonna be Larry. It's, it's not gonna be the person who, you know, they're thinking I was. It's not gonna be Gamshu or Tay or you or you. But at least one person. Like, process of elimination! It should never be this easy! It better not be this easy! Because they're showing it this early though, maybe that proves that it's not this easy? Like, they're bringing this up really early, so maybe that proves it's not this easy? Maybe there's more to it? I suppose? Anyways, it had to be the creator of the Zodiac Art Gallery, Miss Catherine Hall. However, I still don't have any evidence that she is the criminal yet. I see. She is... Hmm... The way he said that just now, sounded like he'd be expecting it. Well, she's the only possible suspect after all. Oh, does he have an idea of what went on in the uh, previous case and that links to this? Like revenge or maybe she was the killer all along, one or the other? Good job, Miles. As expected from Uncle Ray's future apprentice. What? I have no intention of becoming your apprentice. And I will now announce the results of my verification. I confirm that her theft report was indeed accepted. Therefore, it's a little too early to come to a decision. Hmm, that means your logic was completely faulty again. No, uh, you're wrong! My real performance is still to come! Really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? That's... First, we need to speak with the creator. Oh, by the way, uh, do we not get to examine the little thief thing at all? Dick move if that's true. Where the fuck is our little thief examination? Where is any examination for that matter? We haven't examined at all! And after that... Ah, uh, well, cross that bridge when we come to it! Sebastian. Mr. Gustafio may have had business in the Winter Palace. I believe we should send an investigator there as well. Indeed. Try to find what he was trying to find. Oh, that's good too! Detective Gumshoe, investigate the Winter Palace at once. Ugh, got it, sir. Justine, let's go talk to the curator. Yes, yeah, so let's proceed. Of course, she's doing all the planning. He thinks he's doing it, but nope. We should go and listen to what Miss Hall has to say as well. Do we have to be with them more? Oh, well. Back at the art gallery fountain patio. Alright, I want you guys to listen to what the creator has to say. Mr. Bestie, weren't you gonna go and talk to her yourself? Nah, that's a job for my subordinates. Uh, okay. All I have to do is wait for the report. I'm the best prosecutor after all. Uh, what? Such arrogance. You used to be like that too, Edgeworth. Maybe not quite that stupid, but you were very arrogant as well. Anyone really under the Von Karma blood would be that arrogant, though. I mean, you didn't have his blood, but you know what I mean. Well, this is anticlimactic. I'm gonna chill for a bit. <laughs> huh? What's that in the fountain? Oh? Uh, a dead person? Catherine? No, is that can't be Catherine. Oh, I'm looking at all the characters now. Looks looks neat. Kay and Edgeworth. It's a pinker suit than I would expected. And um, like Edgeworth's suit usually isn't that pink. I think mm. it feels more red, but in this picture it looks pink. And then, of course, Ray standing there, but yeah, the woman in the lake, that I don't think that's Catherine. She's wearing a different shirt if it is Catherine, um, and her hair looks too bright. Then again, Edra's suit looks too pink, but um, who is it if it's not Catherine? It's got to be somebody new. What is the meaning of this? Dead body in the fountain. 
Silence, everyone! Forensics! Identify this body at once! I mean, Catherine's the only logical uh, conclusion, but I hope it's not her. I kind of like her, but uh, assuming she's not a killer, I kind of like her. But also, um... It just doesn't look like her, so hopefully it's somebody new. It looks like somebody new. Maybe it's the mom of the kid that we saw in the one thing, because I think that kid's a new character. Eh. It's terrible, pal! Please be quiet, detective. The ice sculptures in the Winter Palace disappear. They've all melted, pal! Oh, okay. They've melted, sure. Maybe they just disappeared like last time. Conspiracy. What? What? This is kind of interesting. Somebody doesn't want the Dover's, um, uh, things to be looked at. There's gotta be some conspiracy going on here. This seems like a really complicated case. Like, I, I would think it has to go on for a good deal longer. What? There's no way we're at another to continue. That'd be too quick. Let's just... What's going on here? There are two victims now. And one of them is actually dead, question mark? If we count frickin' Dover, there's three victims. This is all just like 18 years ago. Once again, the ice sculptures have melted. Again? Everyone related to the incident 18 years ago is gathered here now. This is no mere coincidence. Don't you think so, Miles? Yes. The key to finding the truth of this case lies in the IS-7 incident. This is what I believe. <laughs> That's right. Uncle Ray thinks so, too. Looks like it's time once again for Uncle Ray to tell you about the IS-7... Oh, are we jumping into the past again? Oh, yes, please. Back and forth is the best way to do it. Just one and one fourth is... One back and one fourth is dumb. But if you, if you switch between them, even just one more time, that'll be great. Oh... But who's the dead body? It'd be nice to know. Are we gonna meet them in the past and then find out about- and then- Oh, that'd be cool if we get a flashback and meet them in the past and then jump to the future and then it's like, yep, they're the dead body, the one we've been in the past just now. That'd be cool. So back to the past then? Didn't we just get it to be continued? Didn't we just get it to be continued? That's a very weird splitting point. 